you mentioned earlier the noodles. I remember seeing like an early build of the project um, and finding it really interesting, like the way you made the noodles work. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yes, yes. So uh, the noodles in Noor, um, <laughs> it's it's really great when people ask me about that because they think it's like, oh, like what plugin did you use or like what's your solution? Uh, no, it's literally just a bunch of cylinders in a skin mesh, just like stacked up and then chained together with uh, with hinge joints and. <laughs> They all have rigid bodies on them, and I just drop them. <laughs> I love that. So... I feel like that's it's such a fun. It 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 gives a great look. They look so wiggly. Yeah, and... I like when I first did it. Um, because of course this wasn't really for a game. Like I was literally just playing around. Um, it was really glitchy. Like the noodles would drop, and and as soon as they hit something, it would completely just mess up. Like. All the rigid body joints would go everywhere and just like the game would drop down to like two frames per second and it would just be a complete mess. But uh, after tweaking some things and changing the constraints, um, like this is all using built in Unity stuff, like there's no custom code to make the noodles work. Um, just adjusting a few sliders, I was able to get them to where they have the, the exact like kind of constraint and like, um, what's the word, I guess? Uh, they have the elasticity, I guess, of noodles, of, of actual noodles, and um, I, I was just really surprised at how um, how I was able to bend Unity's built-in like physics systems and make it work for this strange food simulator. And I, if that's a testament to how flexible physics is, then like I don't know what is. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and you mentioned also that you were using Timeline a little bit in the project. How are you using yeah. that? So, um, Timeline comes in where, um, I, I think this is actually being shown at Mile Rumpus at GDC this year. Um, there's a little cutscene in the game that shows before you actually get to play with the food. And um, that's using the Timeline Editor. And uh, me being someone who works in um, like Adobe stuff a lot, um, like Premiere and all that, like timeline was really easy to figure out because it's just like, okay, I want this to happen here. And so, okay, I have a whole track for that. I can just like shift this clip around. Like it's, it's really great. And like, it, it made me, uh, it made me a, like an indie developer. It made me feel like I was a movie director suddenly. And so it really turns unity into this like really great then powerful, like real time movie editing software just by this one component. That's amazing. That's that's super cool to hear. Um, all right, great. Well, so if folks want to find out about you or Noor, uh, where should they go? Yeah, uh, check me out on uh, Twitter. I'm at underscore T-E-E-J-A-Y-5. Um, my website, Terrifying Jellyfish, uh, that's where you'll find all my weird art projects, all my, like, works in progress and all that other kind of stuff. I just throw it on there. Um, Instagram, anything you can think of, I'm probably on it. And I have some weird art on there. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks so much for coming and talking to us. Thanks.